are vet approved dog foods dangerous, even deadly, especially for senior dogs? The answer, sadly, is yes. But wait, vets want to help dogs, right? Why would they ever approve of a dangerous dog food? Well, the answer, again, sadly, comes down to money and education. Now, let me say that I'm not anti-veterinarian. 90% of the vets I've come encountered are absolutely fantastic and have saved my dog's lives countless times over the last 25 years. However, all but one of them were completely clueless about nutrition, and it's mostly not their fault. How? Well, in most of the world, veterinarians receive one semester of nutritional training, if any at all. And their textbooks, nutritional curriculum, are all underwritten, paid for, and provided by, yep, the big dog food companies. This is how you have otherwise fantastic doggy doctors slapping the vet approval label on garbage, dangerous dog foods. Oh, and you see how Mars and Nestle own all these dog food companies around the world? They're responsible for 70% of the dog food brands and sales across the world. And guess what? They also have heavily invested in and own and operate multiple vet clinics, animal hospitals, and vet offices all around the world. And the best part, that vet approved label is designed to trick you, a loving dog, mom or dad, into paying a lot more for your fur baby's food, being thankful for finding such a superior food, manipulate you into paying top money for bags of sugar, fillers, and absolutely disgusting proteins. More on that later, but prepare yourself. When you find out what they've been recommending you feed your senior dog, you'll want to vomit. With rage, disgust, or probably both. First of all, what does vet approved dog food even mean? As you can see, it says vet recommended comes from a group of veterinarians who say that this food is a good choice to incorporate into your dog's diet. A good choice, by the way, despite the disgusting, dangerous ingredients you're about to find out about. Let's do a little experiment. Let's take a look at the hugely popular website, The Dodo. You've no doubt seen their videos on Instagram or YouTube. They had a top 10 vet approved dog food list. Let's take a look at who won. Spoiler alert, Purina Pro Plan is number one, along with Royal Canin, Hill Science, and similar horrible offender dog foods that are consistently ranked some of the worst in the world, yet they're getting the vet approval. So let's do another experiment. Why don't you take a walk with me into a real pet food store and let's check out what's actually in these vet approved dog foods, which we can be assured is good quality and a great choice for our dogs. So let's take a walk inside this rather high-end mini mall to the dog food store and see what vet approved dog foods really mean for you and your senior dog. And I gotta warn you, it's gonna be depressing and it's probably gonna piss you off. First thing we see upon entering, an enormous Royal Canin display. More on this later. And what was voted the number one vet approved diet? Food, Purina. We got hepatic, renal function. Let's take a look at renal function. What's in this food? Let's see if we can find the English version. Get a nice zoom in there. Maize, which is corn. Nice of them to include the word maize, even though it's in the English instructions. Mm. And if you look closely at the percentages, we basically have a food that is almost 60% carbohydrates. Anytime you see meat meal on the label, you know you are getting meat scraps, beaks, feathers, hides from dead, dying, diseased, disabled animals, and spoiled supermarket meat. As you can see, the most depressing thing here is that there are just unlimited bags of this garbage being sold to you at exorbitantly high prices under the name of Vet Approved. Hills, another one of the top vet approved. Look at this, prescription diet. You need a prescription to get this food. Gastrointestinal biome, metabolic. Let's look at weight reduction. Let's see what they're gonna give your chubby senior dog. We got a steady shot. Meat and animal derivatives. That means it is meat from dead, dying, diseased, and disabled animals, along with fur, feathers, beaks, whatever crap they're gonna throw out. Derivatives of vegetable origin. I don't even wanna guess what that is. Cereals means grains, so it's probably wheat and soy. Vegetable protein extracts. This is for a dog trying to lose weight. And it's still over 30% carbohydrates. Here we are, advanced veterinary diets, vet solutions, Manje, which is owned by Purina. It's an Italian dog food brand that is actually owned by Purina and Nestle. 
a lot of vet solutions. Go. Royal Canin aimed specifically at senior dogs. Let's take a look. If this is hard to read, I'll read it to you. Rice, corn, dehydrated poultry protein, corn flour, vegetable protein isolate, corn gluten, animal fats again, hydrosolized animal proteins. Again, meat from dead, dying, disabled, and diseased animals, plus whatever else they can throw in there. This is it specifically at your senior dog. Now, here is something called special dog. This is a very, very low cost dog food aimed at people who are having financial difficulties but want to be able to feed their dogs. Now, <clears throat> if you remember some of the ingredients from the more high priced foods, this is 20 kilograms and it costs about eight euro, eight to 10. All right, pretty bad ingredients, but you expect that from a low cost dog food, right? What do you notice? Grains, meat and animal derivatives, oils and fats, derivatives of vegetable origin. This bag of food is no different than the Royal Canin, the Purina, the Science Hill. All have the same garbage inside, yet they're charging you three to four to five times what you're paying for something like this, which is known as a low cost dog food. So what we have are veterinarians approving of these garbage foods like Royal Canin, as we can see here, recovery, which is given to dogs once they're out of the hospital, full of sugars and rendered proteins, and they go with breed specific or problem or age specific stuff like. They go breed specific and size specific. It's all garbage because look at these ingredients. Again, dehydrated poultry protein, maize, maize flour, animal fats, maize gluten. Here we have a vet approved dog food for dogs with liver problems, full of sugars, rendered proteins, and starches. And an all time favorite, and one of the top on the list, Royal Canin, vet approved dog foods. We have cardiac, gastrointestinal, hypoallergenic. You wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't care about your dog's health. I care about my dog's health, and I would never feed them the garbage that comes from a store. So, what can you do? Do you just keep looking for more and more expensive dog foods until you find one that's decent? No. Save yourself a ton of money and help your dogs live longer by cooking at home. It's a lot easier than you think. It's a lot cheaper than you think. And when you compare it to the garbage ingredients that are in even vet approved foods, it is even more economical. It's not difficult to do. Check out the videos on this channel. You'll learn how to make low carb meals, keto meals, homemade turmeric paste, homemade bone broth, all the things your dog needs to live longer, stronger, happier, and healthier.